about ready mm -hmm. oh it's already going <laughs> 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 i didn't know you started it okay <laughs> What is this segment called? Car talk. Car talk. Car talk, car, car talk. therapy, car reunion. <laughs> car therapy? <laughs> okay. Well, who's the therapist and who's the patient? I'm the patient. Oh, I'm the, I'm sure. the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, Fab's got quite a bit on his mind these days. Lots on my mind. Like, what am I going to wear? What oh, am I going to right. do? <laughs> what kind of makeup look am I going to wear? I think that's the least <laughs> of your worries. I don't think you would want to go for a car talk if that was the issue. <laughs> <laughs> like, you wouldn't need my input on makeup or what to wear. Yeah. No, I think right now we're... Right now we're kind of getting to the point where it's getting better. New beginnings. I'm feeling a very much rebrand kind of feel you okay. know we just moved um i'm slowly already feeling settled in so let's go let's go back to moving okay okay so some of you might not know how uh what's the word i want to use i don't really want to say emotional mm -hmm. but how because moving is a change yeah okay and we keep talking about change and how hard it is for a lot of people and change mm -hmm. so unbeknownst to some of you fab has been going through having to move his home yeah as well as his work studio mm -hmm. as well as his dad having some health issues yeah. so it's been a lot a lot it's been a lot to deal with and plus you had covid for i don't know a couple months ago yeah so you had to deal with that. Mm -hmm. You were really sick. No yeah. things. And so I guess where we're trying to go with this video is Fab's been going through a lot. Yeah. For the past eight, nine months. I didn't know that one. I think eight, nine months. I feel all like of, I've all been. All of 2021? Well, it started out so good, which is weird. Okay. Like when it started, like my birthday was so good. I had just come back from a successful um, work trip. We went to Mexico, like through all that, it was fabulous. I bought you a new computer. New computer, like that time was like so January good. January was amazing. Yeah, like super duper fabulous. Okay. Like, I had no problem. I was thriving. And um, honestly, when I got COVID, after that, it seemed like everything went downhill. And I don't know. Because you were sick? Or just. I, I wouldn't blame it on being sick like obviously it was something hard to go through and it sure. wasn't easy sure. you know but i knew i was gonna get better i know i'm strong enough and we were gonna be good but then i felt like i never got back to being normal fab yeah i felt like i never got back to being me okay for some reason and i just felt lost the end of may june you know i found out my dad had severe health issues and it seemed like my world was crumbling down. Like the things he was saying about his business and closing it and you know, just things shifting and changing. I was like, what is going on? Like I never thought we would go through anything like that or So you're actually for the first time maybe experiencing real life. Yes. Like real life. And you know, it hit me hard because I'm such in my little bubble, you know, everything's fabulous, it's good, like because believe it or not, guys, um, Mr. Fabulous is rather sheltered. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't really know what real life is like. Correct. Because um, his parents have always taken care of mm -hmm. him. Yeah. You know, his his dad wanted him to be out on his own, taking care of himself at 25. Mm -hmm. And now you're 26. And we're just starting to get to the tip of the iceberg. And <laughs> starting to hit it. <laughs> I'm like, Fab, 27 is going to come real soon. <laughs> so what what I'm trying to say is you have never really experienced real life. Correct. Like everything has been somewhat sheltered for you. You've had your parents take care of you. Your mm -hmm. parents make your car payments. Your yeah. parents just take care of you. Yeah. And so for the very first time, Fab had to experience real life. Mm -hmm. Parents having health issues, mm -hmm. having to up and move in a month's notice. Yeah. 
Um, and all of that, guys, because we always talk about how change is so hard for people. Change is one of the hardest things we go through. Right. Whether it's a change of job, a moving mm -hmm. to a new home, mm -hmm. changing your pattern of life because yeah. now you've got to help take care of a sick parent or something. Yeah. I mean, like, life, you know, my life this past year mm -hmm. has changed dramatically. You know, my husband had a botched back surgery. Mm -hmm two actually mm -hmm. one one day and one the next day right. and so I myself have had to adapt to a new world a new world of taking care of someone in a way that I wasn't quite ready for yet right and it's hard I mean it's it's you're like wait a minute I liked it before how it was yeah I like the old way it's, like it's I don't... all of it happening happening unexpectedly yeah that's like right. a big punch like oh like stop it like it's why? like it's like when it happens to you and you weren't planning for mm -hmm. it you're just caught off guard mm -hmm. and that happens to everybody in life guys it, it happens it happens health wise it happens death wise mm -hmm. it happens it just happens all mm -hmm. the time and so I guess where we're trying to go with this is how do you feel like you've dealt with it you know because some people guys when it comes to stress mm -hmm. some people turn to alcohol mm -hmm. some people turn to food yeah some people turn to drugs mm -hmm. some people turn to all kinds of things to be able to deal yeah with what's going on in their world that they're not used to definitely so what do you feel like you've done I feel like I know I've definitely been depressed and you know I try to talk with my family and we try to get together and talk through it but it's just your own emotions you know and you just feel like everything's just going on in your head and you're just like thinking like oh my god this and this and this and then you say you just want to get away from it so you call up your friends and you're like let's go out and then you end up taking it overboard and you're like oh and, well, and you don't realize it but because the alcohol seems to numb you yeah and put you on a fantasy world and you forget about everything else you just all you all you want to do in these moments is just forget what's going on just for a little moment just because it hurts so much you know mm -hmm. and you just want a little bit of an escape and honestly it's so scary because i can see how people fall into these like situations that are like deathly with drugs and things like that because I can see what will push them towards something so evil like that you know what I mean well and, and let's go back to when my son passed away you know I had a therapist say to me I had many doctors say to me well, you just need to let us give you this mm -hmm. antidepressant mm -hmm. and everything and I'm like oh so how am I gonna feel when I'm taking this antidepressant right. they're like kind of numb like you don't care about anything in the mm -hmm. world and I said wait a minute if I take this drug and I stay numb mm -hmm. so that I don't have to deal with the pain so much mm -hmm. <laughs> what's it gonna be like someday when I want to get off that drug Correct. what then two years down the road is when I really have to finally deal with the pain of my son's mm -hmm. death you know so yeah. my my thing was no I don't want the drugs. I want to be able to deal with my son's death now. As painful it as it is, I need to deal with it now. I need to grieve. I need to cry. I need to just deal with it now because I don't want to be numb forever and ever. And then someday finally wake up and go, oh, now I got to cry. And, Correct. It's not, you know. it's not the answer. Yeah. So it, you, you can clearly see how people get hooked on alcohol or mm -hmm. drugs or whatever yeah. to escape. Mm-hmm the pain of what they're going through mm -hmm. and so do you feel like you're getting to see the light yes. at the end of the tunnel yet yes now that we moved into the new house and getting settled in and i know that everything is good i've already you know i just want to start just going back up like i just i don't know i feel like i just want to rebrand myself and just have a new lifestyle and just get rid of what i was these past months right like i don't want to be that person anymore at all like i i you know when they say it gets to the point when you're fed up yeah i'm at that point where i'm like i the old person i am now i don't want anymore 
Well, because remember in January, February, whatever, mm -hmm. you had gotten a gym membership. Yeah, yeah. You had a friend that was going to the gym with you. Yeah, I was on the right track. You were on the right track of becoming a better fan. Yes, 100%. And even, you know, not that you're not better now, but yeah. an even better fan. Yeah. You know, you were taking your health more serious yes. and you wanted to lose some weight. Yeah, and I was literally feeling it and I was were, so yeah. excited. And I've noticed this past few months yeah I six months that you have not no and you know guys you can't help but be influenced. <laughs> you can't help but be influenced to yes. take care of yourself yes. when you're around me absolutely because I live eat and breathe it mm -hmm. I try to make my housekeeper mm -hmm. healthier I try to help you be mm -hmm. healthier I don't try to make somebody be healthy but mm -hmm. I'm just, you know I'm yeah. just saying because I'm that kind of person you can't help but want to better yourself, better yourself. And, and also feel like that too right i see how good you feel and i'm like i want to feel that good i want to i want to be excited like that so guys not sure if you watched friday's video yes but friday's video literally um i requested that i have fab make me over yes my, my makeup, uh -huh. my clothing, and everything. And you know what, guys? For that day, while we were going through all that, I actually felt like I was getting to see the old Fab again. Yeah. It felt really good. Because he was doing my makeup, and he was like, oh my god, like this is so scary. Kind of like, Ooh, it, just, it feels like the very first time again. Yeah. Kinda thing, you know? And yeah, it, it was just like a very comforting like i mentioned when i was doing it i was like i feel like home i was like it just felt comforting like like yeah like this is what i'm doing you know what i mean right so right it felt and, right and look we recreate we recreated the look yes! for you guys today so sickening we recreated the look for you today so that you could see exactly what that look, you know, go back and look at go back yeah. and watch friday's video and then you can really understand it but but, yeah, but anyways no, i really yeah. felt like i was getting to see the good the, the old fab again that love doing makeup and you know yeah just because I, I feel like you've been lost for a while yeah so lost and no matter what i've done guys no matter what i've said no matter how much i try to influence mm -hmm. him i felt like i was not reaching him yeah and not only you everyone that everyone that would talk to me i would it was such a weird feeling because all you do is just like it's kind of like you have this <laughs> You know how everything now, everyone has that plastic shield in front of them? Oh, yeah. I literally <laughs> felt like I was walking around with one of those. It's Seriously? like everyone would just tell me everything, but it would just not get to me. You know what I mean? Kind of like when your parents give you good advice. Yeah. And you ignore it. Yeah. And then years down the road, you're like, oh, yeah, my mom told me to do that. And I told her, screw off. I don't want to listen to you. And then it comes back and you're like, oh, I really should have listened to her. Very bad. Mm -hmm. Very bad. Very bad. That's going to be me. So you felt like you had a plastic shield in front of yeah, you. Yeah, like I was just checked out. I was just like, just trying to get through just every single day. Like, just do what I got to do and make it work. So do you feel like you're maybe going to be back? She's coming back Monday. <laughs> Why are you going to wait till Monday? Well, this weekend I'm going to grocery shop. Oh, okay. So this um, weekend we're doing prep. Yeah, this we're weekend. We're getting the studio in order. Yeah. Studio's pretty much already there, but I want to go in grocery shop. We have our HEB video I'm going to go back to, and I know what to get, and use this gym membership. Yes, it's hot outside. And Yeah, it's too hot outside. Go to the gym. But I'm like, I keep seeing that charge every month, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, wow, I should really use that's why, this. That's why gyms love people. They like, sign up and they never I'm go. like, I really need to use this. They're <laughs> charging me and I'm not using anything. So anyways, guys, we just kind of wanted to bring you this video today to kind of let you know some of you out there are going through some stuff too. Some of you yeah. have never recovered from COVID. Mm -hmm lockdowns some of you are still in lockdowns you know and we just we want you guys to know that you're not alone yeah you're not alone you know fab's been going through his thing i've been dealing with my husband's stuff you know mm -hmm. i had to cancel working out with my trainer for months on end because of all of his doctor's appointments and all yeah, that kind of I stuff that. and i finally got back with lacy fit brown or yes. lacy brown fit sorry lacy brown fit Anyways, you know, and I'm back to taking better care of myself again and feeling better, looking better. Yes. You'll see that in Friday's video. Um, so, 
uh, yeah, you just, sometimes you just have to go through that funk, but sometimes it takes somebody to have to try to jerk you out of that funk. Yeah, like say, someone's really got to wake up and say, be like, come on, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, otherwise you'd continue to just be in that slump. Yeah. And just blase and no, and remember guys, I always try to tell you, don't take one day for granted. Life is short. You know, one day my son is on four wheelers with his friends, mm -hmm. zipping around the mountains, having fun, and the next day I'm burying him. Yeah. You don't think he planned on that at the age of 19. So I'm just saying, guys, every day that you are blessed to be on this earth is a blessing, and you need to wake up and act like it's a blessing, not mm -hmm. act like it's like, oh, yeah. woes me. Yeah. Because God can just take you and snatch you out of this earth right now. 100%. So... Way. You know, and and I, I don't I don't want to be snatched up yet. I mean, I just want my least to be snatched. I wanna I wanna be with my son again someday. You know, but I I still feel like I've got work to do on this earth, and I wake up every day and I think about that. So when I want to fall into a slump because of bad things that are going on mm -hmm. in my life, I'm like, nope, nope, because it could be worse. Very true. It could be way worse. It so could be way worse. Anyways, guys. Leave your comments below. We would love to listen to your comments. Read your comments on what you're going through and how you're coping with it. Um, just know that you're not alone. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed today's car talk. <laughs> um, are you not going to mention the makeup giveaway winner? Oh and the my cash God, winner? yes. We have to pick winners. Okay. I will take, I continue my Venmo <laughs> and I'll take the makeup myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to make you happier, Pat? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, material things do make you happy. <laughs> what do you think, Pat? Wow. It's huge. Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. I love it. Uh, what is this for? Where are you putting it? The ranch. Ooh. Exquisite for the ranch, right? Very. You now, thought I would be like buying something with elk horns. And now we know <laughs> your taste now for the ranch. Ooh. Getting a little... Get a little hint of the taste for the ranch, yeah. huh? I so, see we're not going rustic. <laughs> you, you thought I was going to do cow skins and yeah. elk horns. Brown leather. <laughs> no. Does that look like what I... <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No. This is one. The other one is over here, but the lampshade came kind of banged up. So we oh, are great. getting a replacement. So we need to announce the winners for the cash giveaway as well as the beauty box giveaway. Yes. So cash giveaway is a Instagrammer and her name is Javitha Gandhi. Gandhi? Okay. Okay. Her Instagram name is gvixav21. I don't know. Lock, We're going to leave everything in the description box so that you can see. But anyways, she is the winner of the $250 cash giveaway mm -hmm. and the winner of the beauty box giveaway. Mm -hmm. The mystery box, beauty, uh, mystery box beauty box giveaway mm -hmm. is Francine Hay. So she's a YouTuber. Yes. And her name is Francine Hay. So we're gonna list that on the description box too. Francine, she says she's gonna give it to her daughter. Oh. Because it took her daughter six years to get through college, but she damn well deserves this. And now she's a teacher for Conroe ISD. Yes. yes. You go girl, never give up. See what I mean? Love it. Don't care if it's two years, four years, six years, eight years, whatever. Just finish, get it done, make everybody proud. So anyways, those are the two winners of the giveaway today. We are so proud of them. Congratulations. Yay. It wasn't you, Feb. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about this outfit? Nice. Yeah. It looks very comfy. Remember this outfit? I bought it at one of those country Oh, routines, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was way bigger. Yeah, it was like huge. So I had my alterations ladies take it down. Cute. So now it's not so big. Mm -hmm. But very comfy just to wear around the house. Yeah, it looks very comfy. Or do the car, car, car talk there you go. video. So remember guys, put your comment below on what you've been going through. Mm -hmm. Let's make this, let's make today's video all about therapy. Mm -hmm. let's, let's all therapeutic, be, be therapeutic with each other, you let know? It out. Let it all out. Fab was letting it out in the car. I let it out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> put your comment below on what you've been going through and how you have been able to get through it, push through it and overcome it. Yes. 
we love hearing about it. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Follow Fab, follow me, follow my trainer, Lacey Brown Fit. She's freaking amazing. We're gonna leave her information in the description box below and say congratulations to the winners. And until next time, bye-bye.